In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple encoder and decoder in Python. Encoder is a piece of software which converts a string or character into numbers. And decoder is a piece of software which converts those numbers back to their string equivalents. We are going to build these encoders and decoders by using Python Lambda functions. So let's get right into it. Before I start building those encoders and decoders, let's define a variable which includes most of our characters. And as you can see on my screen, I'm using a notebook provided by Google Collab. So I don't have to provision an infrastructure. Click on plus code. And then I'm defining a simple text variable which contains some unique characters, uh, alphabets, and some alphanumeric characters. Just to be sure, let's convert this string into a sorted list or an array by using this command. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I am converting this string to set so that all the values will be unique. And then I'm converting it to the array and sorting it. So now let's print out this character uh, or char uh, variable by using, by using the join function. And let's see what happens if I remove this join function. It should display an list or array. There you go. So join function makes it easier to read through these characters. Okay. Now we have it. Now let's use the enumerate function to give all of these characters a counter. In order to do that, we can write a simple statement in Python like this. So let me first go through what this statement is doing. Toy is a variable which will contain the output of everything on the right hand side of equal sign. And what this is doing is first it is using enumerate uh, function on this list. And what enumerate function does is it automatically goes through all of the items of this list and assign a counter to every item. Now, what we are doing in this statement is we already have a, an enumerate object with, and in that enumerate object, we have assigned a number to all of these characters. Now we are looping through all of those counters and characters. And in I, we are storing that counter. And in CH, we are storing this character. And then we are assigning it to this variable, which is key value pair of a dictionary shown by the presses. Now run it. It has stored the value in this toy. Now just let's print it to see if what it has done. If you print it, there you go. You see that once we have looped through this enumerated object of characters, we have assigned a character to CH as shown here, and then the counter to its value. And same goes for all the other characters which we saw in our test, uh, which we stored in our text object. Now, let's also create another variable by flipping this enumerated objects key value pair. And I will show you the reason why we are doing it. Let's go here. Come on. Let me write it at the end. Now what we are doing, we have just flipped it here. Instead of storing um, it in the counter end character, we are doing it that index first in this i and then character in this ch variable. Now let's run it and then we will print it just to make sure everything looks good. Print itos, sorry, print itos and then run it. So now as you can see, it has flipped it. So in the previous example, we had key as our character and counter as our value. But in this one, we have key as our counter and the value is the, the character. 
Okay. Now let's build our encoder and decoder. First, I'm going to build the encoder, which means that the encoder will be a simple lambda function, which will we will pass some string and it will convert it to number. Let me write that encoder function. Okay, let's go here. So this is my encoder function. In this encoder function, what we are doing is encode is just the name of this function. And then we lambda is a keyword, which is telling Python that it, we are writing a lambda function. And this we are passing this parameter as s. Now, this is a meet of this function after the colon. What is happening here is that we are saying that whatever parameter we have passed as s loop through all the items in that list in s list and then for every item check the value in this dictionary stoi and which is which we already declared above there so now let's use it to better understand what exactly we are doing let me data new line here there you go now let me say print encode function and just write hi so what we are saying basically here is that we are passing hi to this encode function so in place of s we will have hi and what would happen is this will go through each character of s for example first the first character will be h and then it will replace that c with h so it will basically it will be mean h here like this so if you go through this toy in this toy search for h small h small h there you go so the key is small h the value is 44 so when would when we would run this this should return 44 and store it in uh, so it will store it in the uh, it will return that value so let's convert it back and same for i when it will be i the value will be 45 now let, let's we already have run it let's pass it high you see that it, it is returning me 44 and 45 now let's pass this 44 and 45 um, to the decoder function, but let's first write the decode function. I'm going here and then add another line. Now, this is my decode function. What I'm doing here is I'm simply flipping it. Instead of going through the toy variable, I'm going through itos variable. And then what I will be doing, I will be passing it the parameter l, and this l will contain this. So let me pass through this print decode and this 44 and 45. So what would happen is this array will be passed to this lambda and the variable will be L. So for this variable will contain the array 45, 44 and 45. Then for each item of this array, it will go and check the value in this itos dictionary. So the first value will be 44, so itos 44. Let's see what is itos 44. So if you go here, the 44 is h, and then the next item will be 45. So itos 45 will be i. So let's try running it. There you go. It has returned, it has decoded this string back to high. And then you can, we can even combine both of these. So, for example, if um, we say, let me write it here. Okay. Print, I would say decode, and then encode, and high. And just close it in the. So, what would happen is encode would first encode it, and then by encode, we mean it will convert into numbers, and those numbers will be passed over to the code function, which will again convert it back to the strings. So let's run it. There you go, it has returned as high.
I hope this was interesting. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.